showing you a video on how to download movies on Kodi. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, you're going to need to go over to the Movies tab. And this is for Exodus. So you're going to go over to Exodus. You're going to go ahead and click on it and let it load up. So after it's loaded up, you'll see this little arrow on the top left hand corner. You're going to want to go ahead and click on that. You're going to go down to Tools. And from Tools, um, you're going to go down over to, you're going to keep going until you see Settings and then Downloads. So you're going to, after you get to that, you're going to go ahead and click on that. And um, first of all, you have to have something like a Fire TV, um, something with available storage um, or expandable storage like a USB port or maybe like a phone or something. Okay guys, so I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 with a, a little hard drive here plugged into it, as you can see. And um, it's got 128 gigabytes, about that, or around 128 gigabytes. And uh, that's what I'm putting my movies on. So let me get back to it. Alright, so as I was saying, now that you're at this screen, you're going to want to go to, um, it should say Enable Downloads. Sometimes it's already checked, sometimes it's not. Go ahead and make sure it's uh, the little bubbles filled in. Then you're going to go on movies or TVs, whatever you're trying to download. You're going to click on movies or TV, like I said. And um, you're going to find your flash drive name. Um, in my case, mine's named Untitled. Not sure you can see that. The focus stopped. There you go. Untitled. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I have a little folder for movies already, as you can see right there. So I'm going to click on movies. And um, it's not going to show my movies in here, obviously. I'm going to click OK. And um, after that, I should be set for downloading movies with, um, movies at least, with this flash drive. And then after I put a new one in, I need to reconfigure it. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when you're about to download a movie. Okay, so after you find what movie you want, you're going to want to go ahead and click on it. Don't hold down or long click or anything like that. Just click once and uh, let it load up. I'll go ahead and let that load in real time. Any minute now. Alright, so after this screen comes up, it's got the different uh, t qualities and everything like that. Um, you're going to want to pick which one you want to download. Um, keep in mind that the higher quality download, the more space it's, space it's going to take up on your flash drive or your phone or whatever you're putting it on. Um, so I normally like to go down to this where it says G video. It doesn't say HD, it doesn't say 1080p or anything like that. Um, and what you do is you're going to hold down on your, your OK button or your enter button or whatever. You're going to long click on that and you're going to come up with a screen like this and from here you're just going to click download and give it a second and it'll ask you to confirm it and it'll say the fate of the furious which is what I'm downloading um, complete file is 450 megabytes which is not a lot considering a thousand megabytes is one gig um, and if you were to download in like 1080p this would probably be about a gig and a half maybe close to two gigs um you know just depending on how long your movie is um so from here you're gonna go ahead and click confirm 
and it'll pop up with your progress of the down uh, the movie that's downloading and uh depending on your internet it could take anywhere from 30 minutes to maybe two hours or you know um i find it to be fairly quick with my internet and uh so yeah that pretty much ends this video um thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already um comment down below what videos i should do next about cody or anything like that um and thank you have a good day